uh, yeah, 77 years ago, Private Aglopper was killed on a mission and stepped off at 04, sacrificed himself so his platoon could continue fighting later on. Not only is Private First Class the Glopper the only Medal of Honor recipient for 2nd Brigade in the 325, but he's also the only Medal of Honor recipient uh, from the entire 82nd Airborne Division for the Normandy campaign. Today we took off at 04 on our ruck for the PSC to Glopper event. We got to our objective, did a small uh, circuit type event of workouts, and we had a a mock-up casualty that we ended up having to put on a skid and then carry one of our battle buddies back to the original starting point. Everybody's rucksack was 77 pounds to mark the 77th anniversary of his uh, Medal of Honor action and his death. Um, each platoon carried with them a 20-pound uh, kettlebell uh, to represent a BAR. The second platoon was able to source and carry a BAR itself. His platoon was pinned down by enemy gunfire and without any remorse for his life he uh, picked up his BAR and drew the enemy's fire away from his platoon so they could go and secure the bridge. For someone at the age of 23 during World War II to go across the entire world and make it through multiple campaigns and then a couple days after D-Day, having the personal courage and the sacrifice to put himself up to what he went, went up against and committing towards the act of what he did, it is very significant because there's a lot to look up to and a lot to strive for and be excellent in other things that you strive yourself to be. It's awesome because it's a story of a private. You know, everybody always talks about just a private first class. He's just a private, but this private first class ordered his company to retreat so he can, you know, risk his life to save his family, basically. By participating in an event that honors another private first class, it's a good lesson to learn and like hum very humbling and this, like the lesson here is that he took initiative to do what he needed to do so the rest of his platoon could survive.